Hello YouTube, this is a DIY vibratory tumbler, kind of a trough style. I got the idea from uh, the guy in Australia, I can't remember what his name was, but anyway, this is a three gallon air tank. He made one out of a fire, fire extinguisher. Anyway, I rhino lined it. It's actually called Armor Thane. Put a spray bar in there. This is regular media. I think this is a three quarter inch tri-star. Anyway, I have these long stainless parts that I have to do. And I had a, a cheap round Harbor Freight one and uh, it didn't do a very good job. Anyway, so I'll kind of demo this a little bit in a minute. Anyway, a frame, the springs. I just stuck these in here cause I can pull it out and then dump all the media out and change it out. You don't want to be mixing stainless media with mild steel because it makes them look like this. This is stainless, so it kind of stains it a little bit. Anyway, so just an idea. We're still learning about medias and what not to do, but I got a 120 watt vibratory motor and uh, we mounted a switch with the pump. The pump is a little, uh, I think it's for a really small pond, but it's, it's more than adequate. Anyway, this is just my temporary trough, water catch basin and my drain. One thing, if you're building your own, make sure that the drain is bigger than the supply. That's a half inch inlet with a quarter inch outlet so it kind of fills with water. I got it working pretty much now. I kind of reamed it out a little bit. Um, anyway, I'll kind of demo it and then I'll go over to the, the small one and kind of show you what my issue was with that. Anyway, here goes. It's Durathane sure quieted down a lot. Anyway, I'll shut you off for now and then I'll pick you up back at the other. All right, we're back. Anyway, you kind of see my problem. This is the biggest tumbler that you can get from Harbor Freight. Anyway, the water system was kind of a pain in the butt. We just kind of had that little pump in a bucket and that, but you can see that there's a rock stuck in there or a piece of ceramic stuck in the outlet so it would fill up with water and it would take five times as long to do so that's why we come up with the three gallon one we do have a bigger one this is a three cubic foot anyway can you imagine trying to find all the parts in there there's probably 200 250 pounds of media in there anyway it's kind of a pain in the butt to find your parts that and I, I do a lot of mild steel parts in here and if you put the stainless in there it turns them all black anyway kind of give you a small sample of how noisy this one is yeah that drives you nuts after a while anyway i thought i would share my DIY experience with my vibratory tumbler. I know there's a lot of knife makers out there could probably use a, a small tumbler. You get some pretty good action out of this. So far, the Durathane bed liner material is really, really tough. We probably got, I don't know, six or eight hours on this this durathane. I've had a couple different medias in here, but uh, it's downhill for stout. We'll see. This should be a definitely a durable test for this 
bed liner material. I think next time if I build another one, I'm going to have them spray it a little bit thicker. Anyway, hope this helped somebody. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Have a good one.